I'll just go to school, you know, but it's been pretty rough with COVID, just hanging around at home, doing home-based learning. Haven't been to school in a while, actually. Um, I'm in year nine now, uh, so I'm starting all my electives and everything. Our whole family has really been like into the ocean most of our life, so we've always been like snorkeling and everything. Um, I think the first time I went snorkeling was when I was eight and we went to the Great Barrier Reef and I've just been pretty interested in it since then. I've never really considered scuba diving really. It's just, I've just always found it more secure to be just on the surface and not as dangerous. But I've always seen like on the TV where scuba divers is really interesting and it's always so fascinating but I've just never really thought about it. Well I think it's just the security of like if something goes wrong you're right there you're able to breathe but if you're down 50 meters and you run out of air or something it's going to be a lot more troublesome uh, so I think that always is a bit worrying just the experience. I wanted to keep it my secret world, but who could keep that sort of amazement from their family? Um, I always wanted to push them into it, so has my dad. They've always been snorkeling and stuff, but I think they just need that little bit of extra push um, to really see how amazing it can be on the way. I think it's life-changing, really. It changed my life. I hope it changed their life. It's sort of their own meditation. I hope they can take away from it. I was very, very excited. I was a bit nervous for like the actual breathing underwater because I didn't know how it would feel. But as soon as I got under, it was just the craziest feeling. I felt like I was just flying <laughs> under the surface. I'd never experienced anything like it. It was not what I imagined at all. I thought it would just be like snorkeling, but like you're underwater. So like you're just breathing with from the tunnel. But when I got under, it felt like I could, it felt like I was like almost drowning, but I could still breathe. <laughs> it was, but it was like, it was just like, it felt like a dream really. I just felt like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just so crazy. You're underwater and it's so unnatural just being able to breathe. It just feels so surreal. I want them to see how one leap into the ocean can sort of take away the stress of life. Um, it can really affect your mental health and it's proven to make you much happier and I really think people should get in there. It just makes you so much happier, really. The coolest experience, it's just, I'm going to tell them how all the things I saw, just the, how, it's just a insane feeling, just seeing like the, octo, the octopi, the octopi and the cuttlefish and just the fish swimming up to you, it's just, oh, it's just such a different feeling, I'm just going to tell them how mind boggling it was really, just a whole nother world. She was absolutely amazing. I was holding on to her, was waiting for her to freak out, watching her. Um, but she was, she, she gunned it. She was swimming ahead of me. She was always pretty much neutrally buoyant, off the ground. It didn't go up at any stage. I was pretty amazed.
Oh, definitely. I'm already planning my job, <laughs> scuba diving. Yeah, it's just way crazier. You just see it from the surface when you're snorkeling and it just feels like you're watching a picture just swim around below you. But when you're actually there inside of it, it's just a whole nother experience. You know how the reef is, like the Great Barrier Reef is just getting destroyed. That's so like insane and it's so like saddening because like when you go, like when you're older, you're not going to be able to show your kids what you once got to see. And just when you're inside of it, it's just, you feel like a part of it now, instead of just like, you hear about it on the news, and it's just, you don't feel as connected as when you're actually inside of it. And it just, it's so saddening. <laughs> um, but you really just don't feel, you don't feel like you're like doing enough. And you actually feel like you have to do something now, like this is what I'm trying to protect, this is what I'm trying to look out for.